I'm at Grand Prix Las Vegas, a five-day Magic the Gathering tournament. Let's see your magic tricks. Um, I got nothing. <laughs> no, 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 this is magic. This is magic. <laughs> I'm going to interview people. Why are all your cards fake? What? Um, the only thing fake about this deck is my ability to play it. Check out some very valuable cards. How much is this worth again? Uh, I sell that card for about $10,000. $10, <laughs> and learn how to play the game myself. These are two uh, what are considered limited decks. Would you say you have a big deck? Uh, I would say I have a massive deck, but uh, not- Can I touch your deck? Yeah, you can definitely touch my deck all you want. Do you think you'll ever be good enough to play Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> yes. I brought some cards too. These are 3D dog cards. Excellent. I do enjoy dogs. This is Vegas. Why aren't you at a strip club? Uh, because I heard that Vegas strippers are not worth it. <laughs> I did terrible in the main event, but then I crushed a side event and got like $250 in value, so that was uh, pretty cool. And you immediately spent the money on more cards. Right after this. <laughs> yes, only, only cards. I mean, that's where my money goes to anyway, so it's basically a direct deposit in my bank account. <laughs> it's not, let's not fool anyone. Who needs food when you got magic cards? There's way too many girls here. What can we do to bring more guys in to play magic? <laughs> Um, well, obviously, you're going to need to show a little bit more cleavage, Olivia. You gotta... Armor is so impractical. Where's the boobage? Wow. <laughs> How can we make Magic the Gathering more male-friendly? <sighs> I don't even know what to say. We're joking, by the way, if that wasn't abundantly clear. Have you considered becoming a judge at the Gathering of the Juggalos? I have not. Gathering of the Juggalos might be a little, a little too intense for me. Can we combine the two events? Uh, I imagine... Uh, the Gathering of the Juggalos isn't as uh, savory as one might expect an, an event to be. Right, but meth helps you play magic. Uh, <laughs> this is the same weekend as the Electric Daisy Carnival. You want to just ditch this place, go to EDC? Is that, is that like a thing where you like take mushrooms and listen to rave music? <laughs> yes. Oh man, if I wasn't in day two. You don't want to take mushrooms and play magic. There's actually a story about a guy who won one of these on mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. I did some research on Magic the Gathering, and the first result was some guy that posed next to butt cracks. I'm familiar with that. Yeah, crack gate. Do you remember that guy? Oh, yeah, the prayer, the prayer dude. Yeah, there's some guy walking around with a picture of that dude on his sweater, just in the pose. He's our hero. He's very important to the game. So if you show your ass crack, does he come? Does he just appear? <laughs> I, I believe there are summoning rituals. I know he got banned for a while. I don't know... He got banned for doing that. Yeah, one of the things a wizard is all about is a good sportsmanship. It's supposed to be an inclusive community and not an exclusive community. Were any of those ass cracks yours? No, this is my first tournament and I've kept my pants firmly up. I think wizards missed an opportunity because they just could have sold like a Magic the Gathering themed belt. Or let players do product placement on their asses. <laughs> Excellent. I mean, people already do. I, I actually know people with like... Uh, blue mana symbol tattoos. It was a funny situation, but you know, for the people that he was shaming, really shouldn't have done that, you know? If you want to show your butt crack, go ahead. No, I'm good. I, nobody wants to see my butt crack. I want to go viral, though. <laughs> Can we see your cards? Yeah, yeah. These are some I have that I'm about to get signed from the artist here. Would you be mad if I just cut up all your cards now? Uh, probably. Can I just cut one? I can give you a card you can cut. <laughs> you can cut up a painted bluffs. All right. Oh, the, oh, did you just win a bet? Oh, no, it just gives me great pleasure. <laughs> to destroy something. I just like to destroy things. You give it a try. Oh. <laughs> See how good that feels? <laughs> I guess. You know, we could cut your beard if you want. I don't, I don't want you to cut my beard, sir. <laughs> I'm hanging out at the Troll and Toad booth. These are some extremely valuable cards, right? Yes, they are. The most sought after card in Magic the Gathering and normal cards is a Black Lotus. This is a graded one in pristine condition, nine. This card right here sells for $12,500, and it's a beta one. This is a, a Alpha 9.5 Black Lotus. This card sold for $35,000, so it's already, got, it's already sold. $35,000? Yeah. I've dropped over $100,000, $200,000 on collections before. This is the third I graded this year, and it's for sale, and it'll probably sell for about $100,000. How mad would you be if I just chopped up all the cards? All right, so this is the greatest thing you could ever bring up. On the show that I do, our Facebook Live at Troll, my upper management have told me I cannot rip up a card on a show. Now you can do it. Anything goes on this show. This is a beta land. Retail value on this, what? Six bucks? Cut it up, right here. You're All right, let's good. do it. Oh, yeah. I got to cut a card live <laughs> on the show, finally. Actually, I'd rather rip it up. It's more fun. Let's see. 
That's how you actually tell a card is real. Now can I just chop these up quick? Uh, you know, I'm not going to let you do that, because if you do, James is going to jump over the table and start pounding you. Hey, I'm hanging out with Alex, who's a fan of JoGo's, and you're going to teach me magic. Yes, I actually am today. This is appropriate, because right now, I want to die. <laughs> well, I really hope that... These are actually... You think I could fit your deck in my mouth? You can, you can try if you want. You'll draw seven cards at the beginning of the game. Cursed Minotaur. Painful lesson. <laughs> Just like this. It produces a thing called mana. Uh, like Kind of like a currency that you pay. So this card right here... Do you think I'm mana enough? I definitely think you're mana enough. <laughs> and uh, if uh, I think I'm twice man enough, I mean, if you could see the size difference here. The creature has a thing called summoning sickness. Certain cards uh, skip that, but we can go over that when it comes up. So this card has a mechanic called prowess. That's it. Uh, Joe, you okay? I had this nightmare. I was at a Magic the Gathering tournament. Oh. Uh, you're actually here now, so... I tap my creature, and that declares that he's going to attack. He has one damage and three health. Basically, it's power and toughness. In Pokemon, the numbers are much higher. Yes. Uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh, they're also much higher. So those are much more advanced games than Magic. No, they're, uh, it's, uh, it's a lot cooler when you say, I've taken 10,000 damage than one. Do you want to attack? Yes. Okay, so you'll move to attackers, and you'll move up, and you'll tap the person you want to attack with. Attack with, not attack. I'll take uh, five damage. But you didn't react when you got damage. <laughs> Look like you're in love. What was that? I mean, meeting you has been has been a dream. But uh, by the way, do they get these names from rejected Wu Tang Clan members? I actually cursed Minotaur, I actually hooded brawler. <laughs> the best card in your deck is actually Ghost Face Killer. So um, I've got the Inspector deck. <laughs> I want to attack you. Okay. So my creature basically doesn't do anything, and I have to take the damage. I want to hear this damage. Okay. Uh, that's, not, that's, that's just you having sex. No, 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 no. It doesn't sound nearly that gross. So I'll actually attack you for one damage. That's that's how one damage sounds. <laughs> that's, one, that's one damage. Wow. I, I would hate I would hate to actually be winning this game because I don't think my ears could handle it. I'm very sensitive. <laughs> now you actually have what's called lethal. You can uh, kill me this round. Okay. I won't block at all. I'm at negative two and I lose the game. Can I see you die? Yeah, sure. <laughs> how about these cards? Can I play these? Uh, not in Magic. The 3D dog cards. Oh, what the f***? My eyes. You definitely can't play with these cards in Magic, unfortunately. Let's, Let's just, just slip some into the deck. Let's mix the cards up a little bit here. <laughs> this annoys you, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, actually it does. Who can tell what's what anymore? <laughs> People who can teach you the game. Snake eyes. Uh, Joe, Joe, please. <laughs> I'm the king of magic. You're the king of magic, yes. You're the Yu-Gi-Oh of magic. Now you see me? Now you don't. I can make my entire deck disappear. Will these ever be as valuable as Pokemon cards? Yeah. Need to air that out a little bit. <laughs> you should interrupt everything people say with... It's a stupid idea. Why? I made this costume in like four weeks and I hate myself and everything about it so I would not recommend doing that. Dude, I'm on Adderall, <laughs> Xanax, whatever you want. That keeps my butt crack uh, out of out of harm's way. Our product is uh, Mojo, it's a digital life counter. 10 bucks on Kickstarter right now. Who's got the biggest deck? Uh, uh, I have the thickest deck. I'm magic and he's tragic. Yeah, I'm tragic. These are 3D dog cards. Whew. I probably would sell this for about $1.52. Bucks. Thanks for yeah. this really weird interview. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. Hey. Magic the Gathering Tournament. Please subscribe to Jogos. I really like your channel. What's that over there? <laughs> <laughs> you want to cut the lotus instead? Yeah, let's do it. I'll let you cut it. Wait, that's eight thousand dollars.
Eh, what's money? <laughs> you know what you have to do when you lose? What? I get to pose by your butt crack. No, nope, I'm not comfortable with that. That's the rule for magic. I did not sign up for no butt crack, butt crack frame. Oh, you're such a butt crack buzzkill. I have to be. I freestyle rap. Give me a suggestion that's magic related and I'll rap about it. Um, how about something magic related to rap about? Um, how about crack and pack? Can you do something with like because people people refer to like when you when you're opening the booster packs, uh, I've heard it referred to a lot of people refer to it as cracking packs. So can you do like a cracking packs looking for a rare like got to get that like rare card for my deck or whatever? Sure. Well, really my name is Bina White and I got the wackest raps, but this rap is going to be all about cracking packs. Now I know when you think of magic, you might think of cracks and ass, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about cracking packs because you want to get a card that won't give you a scare. You want to get something really expensive, something that's really rare yeah and I know that it might sound pretty funny but I don't really want the card I just really want the money <laughs> that was the coolest thing I've seen all day yes. <laughs> that was insanely cool it's all downhill from here <laughs> Yo, it's Ghostface Killer. I want y'all to subscribe to Joe Ghost. He's a very nasty boy from U.S. <laughs> no worries, Mike! Subscribe! It's all good! <laughs> no! It's not an orgy. Women only, women only. You're not a professional. <laughs> oh, ho! <laughs> Little rude. Sorry!